Hey friends, how's it doing? January 20th, but meat sauce, am I right? Catching up with reality. How's it going? Not well. The world seems to be in complete disarray. Countries are headed towards all-out war, according to NATO's chief military advisor, in the next five, ten years, perhaps. And as we just learned recently, Trump indicated that the West would not come to the aid of NATO should that happen. North Korea tested a drone nuclear submarine. And, well, the climate is completely out of whack. It's cold because it's hot. Yeah, we still don't understand the reality of our situation. We are absent of rationality, humans. I agree with Leon Simmons, you know him, who co-authored the paper with James Hansen regarding aerosol masking and rapid intensification of warming on the planet. He said at his end of the interview with Nate Hagens, if he could have a magic wand, it would be to fix our rationality and relation to the natural and physical world. I agree. As many times as I've been laughed at in person for stating the reality of our situation indicates to me that we need a complete rewiring of our genome sequence and fast because we have to cooperate on a global level, referring to a paper I and Beckwith read recently regarding, well, humans getting along and fixing the course of action. So you guys and me share a realistic approach and viewpoint that we have to basically redo the entire language, a metric system, communicate all of our energy systems together, the whole world and every subgroup of humans on the planet, every nationality, race, color, language, everybody, everywhere to cooperate now, this decade, in the turbulent 20s. As someone said, much greater chance we get zipped by Zeus than getting our act together in that way, even to record this. And so many things I want to publish. I wanted to read an article from a peer-reviewed paper from Nature on a wetter and drier world that we're heading to. Um, you know, these are headlines that pop up. Maybe many of you guys read this already. Obviously, you know that the global warming situation is accelerating because you guys voted that. Like, I, I was going to do this dramatic, you know, for-the-record video, which I still might do. Just hard to get my motivation together. Um, and it is demonstrably true, indeed, that the climate per decade is getting hotter faster already. And we're going to see much more clearer evidence of that as if there isn't enough in the coming months and years. And maybe McPherson is right with this 26 prediction of uh, societal collapse and our inability to grow, store, and distribute grains. I really enjoyed his recent content about civilization being too late. Like, like hundreds of years too late. And yet he persists to continue to tell this message about collapse, which is good, telling a patient that they're basically in hospice, planetary hospice. Hope is a four-letter word opposite of grief. It's a disillusionment with the future. And um, it feels overwhelming right now. You know, this thing. No, look at that thing. He said, what? No, Putin's doing this. Germany warned he's, he's going to invade, huh? This thing. No, pay attention to that thing. I know. That's how I feel. And so you, you would say in response, well, just you know, smoke something, disassociate. You know, I mean, I know many of you do. I haven't smoked in months. <sighs> yeah. I'm here and now in this reality. And the fact of the matter is, with such widespread denial, social denial of our situation, indicates clearly that we are not wired to not only handle long-term problems, um, but even rationalize 
the physical world, the natural world, when it's plain as day in front of us, you know, you read these comments, like, well, I haven't seen evidence of this so far. Oh, so you're seeing the record temperatures around the world, 28 billion dollar weather disasters, the hottest year ever recorded. Oh, by the way, those $28 billion weather disasters all totaled up, cause around $92 billion of damage. And this is just 2023. We choose not to see what we don't want to see. Denial is so deep in us. And for those of you still dealing with people of denial around you, I just don't think the relation is that much worth it. I know you have a heart and you want to work through, maybe you see a positive aspect to your friendship, but if they are in denial about the physical world, that is a psychosis, someone who's mentally not cognizant, if you could say, it's not worth wasting your time. Okay, so obviously, I have little faith in humans to turn things around, and, and most of you don't either. So this is the best I can do. Um, I appreciate you guys' support. It was my birthday this month. I'm feeling healthy at my age, and respect all of you for continuing this ongoing understanding of our collapse. And at the end of the day, I said, the truth. I said what was happening, that we were nosediving as a species, doing everything wrong, okay? And to go into a little bit further detail, there's only like 41 carpet capture and underground storage facilities in the world. Half of them are just experimental to prove a point. And another chunk of them, percentage, are actually used counterintuitively to acquire more natural gas from the ground. We have to build millions of these now, not yesterday, now. And we have to get all the cars off the road, grow regenerative agriculture, use whale poop, put sulfurs back in the air. We're cooling ourselves right now. We're due for a world of hurt. Okay? And what I foresee, if you want to see my, hear my predictions, even though there's so many unknown variables, is that the from top to bottom, the Arctic sea ice is, is declining 12% per decade and likely increasing. The increased albedo from that is warming up the planet faster. Greenland is melting at an insane rate impossible to slow down, and thus the albedo on that is decreasing. America's in a proto-fascist state with an oligarchy, you know, Walmart giving their employees 55 cent ramen, a billions of dollar company, you know, for a freeze. That's in, in just Canada and Mexico, not much better. Poor relations, climate deniers burning forests, okay? Japan just reached the moon, but what does it matter? The Himalayas are melting, billions of people around the planet struggling and suffering everywhere, continuously and exponentially. It will be a Mad Max hell world by 2040. There are too many negative variables at play. It's a mess. And knowing this, even with all the denial and widespread social psychosis, should encourage you to live in the present moment and do everything you can to have an enjoyable existence now. Because in 10 or 20 years earlier, you're going to look back at now and all, this, all your problems will seem meaningless. The, the anxiety you feel now, financial woes, we are not an upright species. I expected better of us. I did. Okay, Jessica, I did. But the truth is we're not evolved yet far enough. We didn't come along in our survival of the fittest, whether through accident or purpose. We didn't make it. 
We couldn't cooperate. We couldn't engineer the solutions. We're like over a hundred years late, easily. We are a flawed species, myself included. So I just wanted to rant. These are all the things swirling around my mind. Maybe you made it this far. It's overwhelming, all of it. China just admitting that they sequenced the coronavirus before it was even released and actually designing a worse one that could have a 100% fatality rate. They already knew. They made it. Maybe they can make another. The future wars will be fought not by mostly infantry. It'll be fought by everything. Cyber viruses, man-made and not, sequenced, gathered from the, from the wild, and infantry and tanks and planes. That's our priorities. War, shooting nukes at each other. What's the doomsday clock going to move down to? 60 seconds? It should be 10. Because we are completely blindsided by our own ignorance. The storm's coming. This is the last stable decade of our lives. You guys know it. Thanks for having your eyes open. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good week, Doomers.